Hey everybody, today I have another haul for you. So one of the things I've been thinking about is like doing a haul from just one brand is hard, right? Because it limits what I can show you. And sometimes I'll see something from another brand I really like, but since I don't want to do a whole haul from that brand, so I'm gonna start doing some collective hauls where it's literally like a mix of just anything that I've purchased. Now I have two collective hauls I'm gonna be doing. The one I'm doing today is separate. So it's like skirts and shirts and shorts and like that type of stuff. And then I'm gonna do another one that's dresses and we'll just see how that goes. Maybe I'll have themes in the future. But I just wanna show you guys what I buy or things that I got that I really love um, without having the pressure of like trying to get an entire brand all the time. I'll still do like one brand hauls, but I think this is just like to help me be like a little bit less stressed about trying to combine myself to like one little brand box when there is a big, big brand world and I wanna taste it all. I do, like I love shopping and this makes it more fun for me. So I'm gonna jump right into the items that I have from this haul. Most of these items I purchased, a couple of them were gifted to me, but everything I love, some of it you've already seen me style, some of it you haven't seen yet, but will see shortly. So I'm excited, let's jump in. The first item is this adorable peplum top from Tommy Hilfiger from Macy's. And it is <laughs> this blue and white stripe, it gets smaller, and it has a floral motif over it. In the back, it's got a zipper with a nice little accent here. It's got the Tommy Hilfiger logo on the zipper. The zipper goes all the way down, and then it's got a nice gradient peplum here. The construction of this dress is, I mean, not dress, shirt, is amazing and the reason I say dress is because there's a skirt that matches it which I'll show you in just a second and I have been wearing them together like a dress uh, and separately as well now the item itself is hundred percent cotton making it ideal for summer and it's just very very lightweight and very luxurious luxurious looking like I feel like I have more money when I wear this especially when I wear it with a skirt I just feel like I should talk about tea and like uh, you know, rich people problems, which are things like where to go to brunch and uh, why can't I get someone to dye my shoes to match my dress in enough time. Like those are to me what I think rich people stress about versus, you know, my stress is like, how am I gonna pay my rent? Okay, I mean, I can pay my rent, guys, don't stress, but like, I'm not at like the luxe living life thing. It's like, I still have to budget my life significantly. Anyway. I'm so fancy, you don't even know. I'm na -na -na. Do, 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 Tokyo. <laughs> so this is the skirt that matches with it, also 100% cost cotton. It's got a nice elastic waist that's very, very, very comfortable. And the lining on it is just like a white cotton lining here. Did not have any problems with see-throughness when I've worn this. I, again, I adore it, separate together, whatever. These two pieces are legit bananas, solid purchase points. This skirt also does flatter like every body type. I can't remember if there's, ah! I feel like there's, yeah, there is pockets. I was like, I know, I think, well, I don't know, but I think there's pockets, but I couldn't remember, and then I found the pocket. It's hard because the, waistband is like pleated so you're like where are these pockets when it's on it's like easier to find them than when I'm just like holding up the skirt holding up the skirt it's a little harder to find I'm gonna just keep pockets I'm gonna keep talking about pockets I'm gonna keep talking about pockets I like halfway through that I just like gave up which is like <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Never again. That was that was <laughs> doom 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 doom. That was a shameful vocal rendition. Oh, Richard, can't the maid do it? I'm busy with my brunch plans. <laughs> Indie festival-y kind of look. 
This is from Rue21 from a brand there called Love Fire. So it's not their brand, it's a brand they outsource. And it is awesome. The cool thing about this, it's like a kimono. It has a little tie in the waist, but it's just breezy and beautiful, super lightweight, inexpensive. It's got some cheap, Rue21 is cheap. I will tell you, Rue21 is like a hidden gem. Not a lot of people shop there. When you do shop there, it's got some good good. It's on the download. Not everything's great. But like every once in a while, you'll find a piece like this where you're just like, you're charming and beautiful and I want you to come home with me. So it has fun little kimono sleeves. I felt the sleeves are great. And then also here at the waist, um, you can pull this in. So you can kind of, you know, take in as much as you want at the waist as you need. <laughs> so you can kind of cinch the waist if you want to, which is awesome. This goes to about like mid calf. It could be all the way for someone shorter all the way down to the ankle, but I love, I love this so much. And it's so flowy and it travels in the wind and it's beautiful. Also, while I was like wearing it on the high line, like people kept stopping me and telling me it was pretty. So you know it's a good item when people go out of their way in New York City to tell you, you looking good in it. Like how amazing is this? I mean, check out that action. Like you want to dramatically leave a room, goodbye. <laughs> I love it. The next item I have not worn in the lookbook yet, but I think it will be, they will be in my next lookbook. I'm almost like 90% certain, but I haven't like fully styled it yet, is these pink ruffled little shorts from Illiqui. I just love them because they were ruffly and they're this kind of mix between lavender and pink, like it's an indecisive color, but I like it because it could go either way. And I haven't seen a lot in this color. It does have a belt tie around the waist. I probably will ditch that, maybe replace it with the normal belt. But I thought these were fun and cute. I will say there's not a ton of stretch on them, so I did size up. Like there's a little bit, but not a ton. And yeah, I was excited to wear these. As far as what they're made out of, they are made of polyester um, and rayon with a little bit of spandex. Now I will say the lining is that like acetate but it's more of like a matte acetate, so it's less annoying than like the super shiny acetate. And also it does have welt pockets in the back and just as an FYI, I don't think these work. These are fake. These are fake pockets just for the aesthetics, but not for the functionality, but you do have po pockets in the front. It's got a hook and eye closure as well as a button, so it's fairly supported at the waistline. And yeah, I think these are gonna be cute. They are on the shorter short side, so Get ready for some booty cheeks. I don't know if it'll actually show my butt cheeks, but it's definitely gonna be shorter. Who likes short shorts? Anybody who's hot, that's who. I'm kind of meh about how these fit me. They're okay, I'll probably shoot in them, but I don't love them. I feel like the ruffles are made of a really heavy fabric and that makes them hang kind of funny. And I just feel like the fit is off for my body type as well but they're not terrible, they're just not great. Next is a pair of shorts from Reb Dolls. I just got these because these are super like fun for when it's hot. I got these in black last year and I loved them. So I got them in red with kind of black and white racing stripes this year. It is like a fitted waist and then it balloons out so you have almost like a skirt looking short short. I found that these were like the easiest shorts to just bum around in as a pair. I think they might be a little voluminous if you are not a pair or hourglass. Like if you're an apple, this is probably a short shape to like stay away from. But these I love. I can imagine them with like a lace bodysuit or something scandalo to that extreme. Like I want to do like sporty but like sexy but you know like. I went to play basketball but then I put on lingerie and all I had is my basketball shorts to put over them. You know what I mean? Like that look of like sexy sport. Something like that. You know what I mean? It's going to look cool. I'm excited to style them. And they're just comfortable to even just like wear around the house. Like let's forget being like fashionable for a second and just talk about the fact that this is a pair of shorts that fits my waist well and gives me a billowy look around my butt and thighs which is like never happened to me for shorts ever. Usually they're fitted because I got them candy juicy thighs. The only thing that would make me love these more is if they had pockets. That's the only downside, but otherwise, they cute. And they're really comfortable too. <laughs> mm. 
If you guys don't know the story behind Candy Juicy Thighs, there's this guy who used to comment on my page every day on every image, just like a uh, drumstick emoji. No, it was candy emoji, drumstick emoji, water droplet emoji. And I asked him, I was like, what the hell is this? He's like, candy juicy thighs. And I was like, okay, I'm stealing that. And that is now how I will refer to my thighs from now on. <laughs> Them candy juicy thighs. Anyway, continuing. This might be one of my favorite dress shirts I've ever owned in my entire life. It is again that white and blue pinstripe. It is a button up, but it is off the shoulder, which is so cool. And this actually stays off the shoulder really well because the sleeves are a French cuff and they don't like push up. So they stay at your wrist, keeping the shoulder down, which is like ingenious. And I love the French cuff style. It's very like money. <laughs> This is also Tommy Hilfiger for Macy, so that's why it's looking good. It's preppy, but it's super cute. It, it, it does run a little bit big. I got a three in this. I definitely should have probably gotten a two, but it's, it's fine. I still wear it because I love it. I love it so much. And it's just a very classic, very unique shirt. I feel like you could potentially pass this off at work depending on where you work, whether off the shoulder is appropriate or not. If not, it's just a very upscale tailored shirt. Fits amazing. And then again, holding that shoulder down with a unique, ingenious kind of design here of having the cuff be a little bit tighter and fitted so that the shoulder doesn't pop up, which like off the shoulder shirts, that's like the biggest struggle in wearing them is like actually maintaining them as off the shoulder shirts. So boom, again, this is Tommy Hilfiger from Macy's. I just feel super classy in this top. Like if I, lived in like a Pleasantville situation, I'd be like the rebellious one. Preppy, but still pushing the limits of the soccer mom world. <laughs> also from Tommy Hilfiger from Macy's, it's the last piece from that section, is this amazing button down shirt in this very crazy floral, which you know, mama loves color, mama loves floral. I'm calling myself mother and I don't know why. I've just all of a sudden started doing that. Like I don't have any children. I don't feel like a mom, but yet here I am going mother. Maybe it's because I'm like mother hen taking care of her fashion baby chicks as you guys grow into like mothers of your own. Anyway, that analogy was weird. Uh, I did an improv show yesterday and one of the guys acted like a chicken. Maybe that's where that analogy came from. Anyway, the cuffs roll up. There's this fun little strap right here which actually keeps the cuffs rolled up should you wanna do it. So you can have that like safari shirt style where you can button the arm up here. So keeping it at like a three quarter length. Standard collar, then you have in the back just a nice center pleat and a standard yoke for what a dress shirt would typically have. As far as what it's made out of, all the other Tommy Hilfiger items have been made out of cotton. This particular item is made out of polyester. So it definitely has a different feeling. I do love the two front pockets in the, in the front. Again, adding this kind of like neo safari style to the shirt, but obviously keeping it in more of a fun, playful look with the bright, bright, bright colors. I call this the curse of long arms. <laughs> Like for real, yo. I think they're supposed to be like a full length arm, but I'm just got long arms. So I can probably only ever wear it like folded up. <laughs> Tall girl problems. So this is my favorite thing from the entire haul. Um, my favorite fashion designer, period. Hands down is Mari Mecco. My bedspread is from Mari Mecco. I lived in Finland for a while and just became obsessed with it. Mari Mecco's design aesthetic is like very bright colors, very bold prints, graphic kind of mod styling, but minimalism with like bold, bold colors. And so my favorite colors are orange and blue and a very specific shade of orange and blue. And I saw this and it was a Mari Mecco t-shirt in those shades of orange and blue. And it's kind of hard to see this color because it looks much Orangier, it's got a little bit of a pinkish tint to it when I'm actually wearing it. And when I actually see it with navy stems and navy accents in the center and white as well, like a creamy white. This is an oversized shirt, box cut shirt. I got it in a double XL. I have just found out that Mari Mecco occasionally makes shirts in double XL and sometimes triple XL. 
Now it is still on the smaller side, so I still have to look for like oversized stuff, but I was so excited when I saw this, I instantly bought it. In fact, they didn't even have it on the website. I had to go to a third party, like random Scandinavian selling store. Like literally it was called Kitos, which means like, um, thank you in Finnish. And it was like Kitos store. So I could get this shirt because I was so obsessed with it and I had to have it. Like it's, it's my favorite thing ever right now. <laughs> You're gonna see it a lot, I'm sure. I'm sure over the next like year, you will see it all the time. If you can't instantly tell why I love this, like, it's just, it's me. It's me in a shirt. The last item I am still debating on, this came from ASOS. It is like a baseball kind of style pinstripe, black pinstripe on white with this really interesting ticking. Now I thought this ticking was coral and it came in as hot pink. And the ticking is at the neckline and at the sleeve. The reason I'm not sold on this is I got this to go with a certain outfit. I don't know if the outfit's gonna work. I also don't know how I feel about the stripes at the top. I'm still debating on whether I like that or whether I find that a little bit bizarre or whether it's fashion. Like sometimes I don't know right away. So this shirt's kind of sitting on the sidelines, appropriate for a jersey tee, as I kind of figure out how I feel about it. It does feel uh, like it's made out of cotton, most likely. It is 100% cotton and the trim up here is polyester. So it is a nice t-shirt, I just, I don't know how I feel about it. So I have not tried it on yet. You guys will see it on me for the first time in this haul. So let me know how you feel about it because this is definitely something that I don't know if I'm gonna keep. Uh, I'm probably gonna try it with the outfit that I was hoping to wear it with. We'll see if it works there as well. So you will find out probably via Instagram whether I keep it or not because if it does work out, you'll see it in the look fairly soon here. I'm still really undecided. I think it looks cute on, but I can't decide if it's like cute enough to keep. So with that, that is everything from my kind of, uh, what, what was I calling this? The uh, Separates Collective Haul. Um, yeah, I had a kind of, you know, this gives you an idea into like how I shop personally for things. These are all items that I either picked out or a brand, you know, offered me some items and I picked these specific items. But again, I didn't do a whole haul um, situation where I was like stuck on one brand. I got to kind of like stretch it out across several brands, which I think is, is interesting. Let me know if you like the format and then I will adjust accordingly. As usual, the links to everything are, get out of my face, are down below. Also down below, just in case you did not know, I may not say the size in the haul, but I always try to list the size next to the item in the description box. So if you are like, what size is this? Go down to the description box, it will tell you. Additionally, I don't put prices because prices always change. Uh, and I think it's disappointing sometimes because someone might find something they really love and one day it's one price and then the day they would end up actually click the link, it's on sale. So that's why I don't put prices. So there you go. If you have not clicked subscribe, please do that. That actually really helps me support all of this good good that I'm creating for you guys. With that, I'll check you later. Have an amazing rest of your day and peace. But do 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 jazz 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 hands jazz 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 hands jazz hands jazz hands jazz hands jazz hands and goodbye. Do 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 jazz hands.